Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of FIFA Career Mood. I have uploaded this one after the other two have already been uploaded and I've got some comments um, suggesting that I get rid of some of the fast forwarding and maybe tell you a bit more about the team and my team selection. So starting from today we'll be doing both of those. I'll try and cut away from any of the boring admin stuff rather than just fast forwarding through it. Uh, I think it was giving some of you maybe a bit of a headache. But we're going to be starting off now with the game against Stuttgart. So, the Mercedes-Benz Arena is in Stuttgart itself. It's licensed in game. It's all looking very good. It's one I've actually been to myself when I've been on holiday in Germany. I think I saw Stuttgart against Dortmund when they were playing there. So, maybe a bit of a uh, bit of a home advantage for me in this one. So, we're going to be starting off with us on the ball. We've obviously had a bit a bad spell of form going into this. We need to get a win. Stuttgart are a fellow struggling team. I believe they were the only team that's below us. Um, we get getting behind here, but of course it's offside. Uh, and our Stuttgart are on the attack about 10 minutes later. They're, some of the teams at the lower, lower level of the German league do enjoy doing a lot of aerial passes. Uh, Stuttgart want one of them, but you'll see in the Augsburg match coming up, they love a aerial pass. But... Yeah, we go behind to the Russian Chalov in the 28th minute, and it's, uh, it's looking like it's going to be another loss at this point. We've not really had a shot, but um, now it's half time. We've not had a shot. They're 1 0 down. We can probably see what's going to happen in the second half. But hopefully, Draxa can inspire us to get forward a bit better. Um, he's got the ball here, through balls it to Pacienta, and. We get so close to scoring. I don't think we could get any closer without actually scoring itself. But we didn't. He's got the ball again now, Draxler. Passes it through to Pacienza. And he can smash it across the box. He's pretty good at finishing this dude. I'm, I'm a big fan of him so far. I think he's been our best striker. But yep, 1-1. One, one. Good first half of the second half. But now that God have got the ball out wide again. You can see it's pretty late in the game. Both teams are very dead. And Silas gets it at the back. You would expect him to probably score that. Especially a player like him. But he doesn't. They get it out wide again. Gonzalez again. Another deep cross. And Mendil gets away from Jorgensen. Uh, Raman's playing on the wing today rather than up front. But Mendil, like in the last match, I think he got an assist in the last episode. So he's been playing pretty well for such a low rated left back. So, I've decided to leave a long clip in here because I think something pretty interesting happens. Of course, that's the only reason I leave any clips in here. But I think I do one of the best passes I've ever seen on any episode of FIFA ever, or any iteration of FIFA. So, Draxler gets the ball to Pacienta, and that run from the uh, Montondo is just amazing. I've never seen that kind of run, and then the finish is just as good. So... We've got a nice late goal, and it's 2-1 against Stuttgart in a six-pointer. Who doesn't love that? So, not too much actually happened in this match, other than the three goals. They had a couple of shots that we got saves on. We had a couple of shots from quite far away that weren't really worth including. But wow, that pass. I'm a big fan of that pass from Pacienta. Or was it Uff? I can't remember. But... It was it was a good goal. I really enjoyed scoring that one, especially against Stuttgart. We need to beat them, otherwise uh, they'll be getting points on us. A win's exactly what we needed right now. We are uh, we're getting a bit dangerously close to the bottom half of the the table, and we didn't want to lose too much manager rating and get sacked, of course, did we? So you can see here, I've zoomed in on the team. In the future two games in this match, I do include the. Um, to include a little cut out but you can see we did 4-2-3-1 Draxler in the hole, Matondo and Uth on the wings and we had been playing him at front but I think he did a bit better on the wings than playing at front I do like having Sane and Nastasic at the back but I do believe we have to we have to develop um, Kabak a little bit especially with the amount of pen potential that he does have I've seen him be linked to some Premier League clubs in this winter transfer window but, of course, um, we're not going to be selling him anytime soon. Sani is a pretty dominant centre-back. Uh, but we've swapped him out for Nastasic here because I think we needed a bit more passing at the back from the last match. Sani is more of a classic head-it-away, 
Proofit centre back on FIFA. Uh, he's got less pace than Stasic and he's a bit worse on the ball. But yeah, we've got Ozpika left back. We'll hopefully be getting Kalasniac in the winter transfer window like they did in real life. And we've got Stasic and Kabak at the back. And Cars built right back, who's been actually a pretty good right back transfer. Um, in the first couple of games, but now we are on our way to Augsburg Which is another stadium I've been to in real life um, So We're gonna be playing the away team again uh, Augsburg do like to play long ball. They're one of the teams like I said do do that on FIFA But already we're getting in behind. Oots there and Matondo's cut inside and after 20 minutes, the first chance, I'll let you decide what the whites to come out of his bum is. But Matondo has scored. He is absolutely on fire in these in this episode. I think he's already scored in the last game. And he's got a goal after 20 minutes in this one already. So he is covering for our absolute lack of attacking pace. He's got 90-something. But... Yeah, the rest of our team's pretty slow. He's definitely someone that is a, definitely a weakness that we have, and we're going to try and sign some more faster players. But Raman has a little bit of pace here. Running down the wing, gets it out his feet, curls it. Matondo's there at the back post, and he nearly gets a second after 32 minutes. Uh, I believe he was offside in the end, but it was still a good chance. Uh, Dragster's done another good ball out to Matondo again here. So he's scored. <laughs> Uh, 40 minutes, he's scoring every 20 minutes, so he's on track for four and a half goals in this game, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, Draxler's passing and Matondo's pace is just going to be dangerous to pretty much every left back in the league, except maybe Hernandez at Bayern Munich, and uh, of course Ben Davies. Not Ben Davies, Alfonso Davies. Sorry, I made that mistake in the first episode, I think, calling James Madison Marcus Madison. But yeah, 2-0 at half time, set fair. Should be a fairly calm second half, hopefully. Um, we just we don't need to be running our players into the ground with the amount of games that there are in the Premier League in the Bundesliga. But Drax has put Uth through again, and Uth has just slotted that one home. That is another wow. That's an incredible celebration from Mark Uth, who's got about 68 agility or something. But yep, yeah, the backflip three nil. And this is another relegation for the team that we are trying to desperately finish ahead of in the table. So three looks good, and we've brought Sane in for a bit more aerial ability. He's done his job there, got it out to uh, Matondo again, who's pretty much running play in this game so far, him and Draxler, which is a fairly good for us. Um, but Serdar's another good player on the ball. Oots through again. Oot scores again. 4-0 after 62 minutes. And another acrobatic celebration from Mark Oots. Um, we're really starting to click now. I know we're playing against the worst teams, but Oots and Matondo especially. Draxler too. They're all starting to come into their own now. I'm learning how to use them. So I go on a bit of a run here with Matondo, trying to see if I can get a hat-trick. Cuts inside. Beats his man somehow. Curls one just over the bar. Maybe that's an area that we can do some finishing practice on. Get his finishing stats up. But you can see here, our defending was solid. They had a couple of chances, but that was Kabak uh, there stopping this one. And now Karsdorp diving in and absolutely taking the ball and the man. Love to see it. And that was pretty much it. Uh, we played with our foot off the gas. Sane decides that he wants to try and score a goal, which I don't think he probably will in this whole career mode save. Um, but yeah, 40 yards, definitely not from there. And that's another win, 4-0. So we've got a 2-1 and a 4-0 in this episode so far. We are absolutely destroying the league. So here's the uh, end match thing. Let me know which one you like more, the one from the first uh, match or this one. I thought I'd put the little cutaway in there just because it's got some interesting visuals. You can see Matondo was the man of the match. Um, you can see he's playing well as well. He's got the plus four on his right mid position. Oot's pretty good down the middle. He can't play there super well, but we're going to train him up to be a striker. I like Drexler in the hole, but if we do sign someone like Ozil or Kadira or maybe Gundogan, he might have to drop back to centre mid. So, 
Now we are fast forwarding a little bit. Like I said, we wouldn't get to our youth reports. Um, I do, like I said, try and keep it to two defenders, two midfielders, two strikers and one goalkeeper in the youth academy. Um, and I was just scouting quite a lot of people here. You can see we actually had a pretty amazing player sign here called Mr. Gash. Um, not only is his name pretty funny if you're English and understand the reference, I'll let you search it if you're not English, but he has um, some insane overall. I believe it was between 58 and 73. Um, let's have a look what he is. So, yeah, Mika Gash is a 62 with 80 to 94 potential in centre-back. We're going to get rid of Mr. Klein here because we need two defenders and he was already playing left-back. So, Mika Gash, he can play all through the, all through the middle. He's fast, strong, decent height. Looks fairly realistic as well. We've got someone who looks like uh, that guy who used to, Aruna Kone, who used to play for Everton in goal. Um, Vestergaard looks alright as well. So I figured I did some uh, development plans for all of them. And now we are going to get into the Colm game. They play a 3 5 3 formation, or 3 4 3, sorry, um, which might be interesting because we'll be able to get Matondo up against the centre back Dummett. I'm not sure if that's the same Dummett who used to play for Newcastle. I think it might be. Um, but this is a rivalry match for Colm, I believe. I don't think it is for Schalke, because I think Schalke's rivals are listed as Borussia Dortmund. But you can see here there's a man in salmon shorts that's much too old to be wearing that kind of outfit coming through the turnstiles. And now we are back into our home stadium for the first match of this save. Or this episode, sorry. And... Hopefully, we can carry on with our attacking prowess that we've been showing in the, in the last game. Matondo again, he's just absolutely using his pace. Raman has to be scoring that. I mean, the ball's bounced up. All he has to do is poke that over the goalkeeper. But he does possibly the weakest shot I've ever seen. And I think, I don't know who that centre-back was for them. But our centre-back is rising highest. And... He's a lot more accurate with his head than he was with his foot from 45 yards in that last match. And he's got a goal for us. Uh, Sani is 6 foot 5, I believe. He's good in the air. So you're going to expect him to get one or two goals from the corners. Just maybe not those long ranges that we tried in the last match. So now they're being all Shaolin soccer. And nearly scoring, but getting into the side netting. Fairly easy for us to defend. Drexler again on the ball. Raman using a bit of pace this time and blazing it over so maybe shooting practice for Rahman as well uh, but now Herkins is through, Sane's stepped up and then Clemens is there just to slot it at home that's just bad defending from me there I'm afraid rather than uh, rather than any skill from Clem but again Herkins is there, Clemens is nearly scoring again just a few minutes later and we're getting absolutely dominated but Draxler gets it out to Serdar gets it back to Draxler and then Oots through this is a golden chance, and he doesn't miss. He rolls it along the floor straight into the corner. This guy is possibly our best striker. So we had some decent-sized bids for him, and I don't think we'll be selling him unless there's one of the key players that we've got available that we do want. I've been given some suggestions in the comments. Someone mentioned Goretzka as a player that I haven't mentioned, but he's definitely one that I want. Um, I can quickly tell you some of the players that I do have on my list. We've got uh, Rakitic, Ozil, Goretzka, eventually Sane, but not too soon. I want to get Klasniak back in the winter transfer, but that's not looking super soon as Draxler slides in and then back heals it. That is sums up Draxler on this game. Oots there, and Matondo's even scoring headers these days. Anyway, back to the team. The only thing I'm trying to find out is someone who would be a striker for us. I was thinking Kevin Volland, but I'm not too sure how likely that would be, especially with the rivalry between Schalke and Bayer Leverkusen, as our player defender off the line. I don't know how much he knew about that, and then Rono definitely knew about that save. Um, they get the ball here, Matondo, good tackle now, he's even playing at the back, punch it away. This second half was mainly just them crossing the ball in, as Matondo gets it here, and... How is that a penalty? I do a slow-mo zoom in replay quickly, and he's just kicked it at me. How is that a penalty? I mean, I have no idea. And we'd have the right way, but it's not saved. So I think the AI just wanted a goal there, so it kind of cheated one in. 
but 90 plus 2, they've got a, a free kick here. We just have to defend any long balls, which they don't even bother to put in. So now we have another win. So this is the team we put out, same as last time, really. Oops up front, Drax, the Ram, and Matondo behind. Stambouli playing out of position because I think he's registered as a centre back on here. But, you know, he's pretty good as defensive midfielder. Sane, Ospika, Carlos Thorpe, and Kabak at the back. And then Rono on the bench. Uh, Rono in goal. We could use some more depth in on the bench, like I was trying to say. And we definitely need a striker or a winger. Oot's good on left mid and up front. But if we could get someone who people would like up front, uh, let me know. But I think that's about it for, for today's episode. So if you have any suggestions for anything that I could improve in these videos in the future, please do let me know and I'll try and throw them in. If you did like the video, please give me a like and if you want to see more in this series, feel free to subscribe too. But thank you for watching and goodbye.